I want you to understand that during the 21st century Africa will emerge as the predominant power in the world. It will inherit that position not through bullying or force of arms but through its overall creativity, humanity, and greatness. Its capacity to solve problems will be without precedent. It will have learned through the mistakes of others. It will first solve its own problems and then take on other problems in the world. Please watch with me examples of how its vibrant and creative youth may tackle the difficult issue of unemployment on the African continent. Please leave your comments whether you agree or disagree with their approach and feel perfectly free to add your own suggestions. Chidiba's Vision in a small, sunlit room in Lagos, Nigeria, Chidiba sat hunched over his laptop. The hum of the city filtered through his window, a constant reminder of the bustling life outside. His screen displayed the latest unemployment statistics, a grim picture of the challenges facing his homeland. Chidiba, with his keen eyes and a mind trained in software development, wasn't just looking at numbers, he saw faces, stories, and untapped potential. He envisioned a digital platform, one that could connect the vast pool of talented, yet unemployed youth with the right job opportunities. He imagined a system where skills, not just degrees, were valued. His fingers danced across the keyboard as he jotted down his ideas, his mind racing with possibilities. Aileen's Insight Across the ocean, in the vibrant city of Salvador, Brazil, Aileen, a teacher with African roots, faced a similar dilemma. Her classroom was a melting pot of cultures, a reflection of Brazil's diverse society. She looked at her students, bright and eager, yet aware of the limited opportunities awaiting them. Aline knew that the traditional education system was not enough. Her students needed practical skills, real-world experience that could bridge the gap between their academic knowledge and the demands of the job market. As she prepared her lesson plans, Aline thought about integrating technology into her teaching, making learning more interactive and relevant. She believed in the power of education to change lives, but she also knew it had to evolve to meet the needs of a new generation. Komal's Observation Meanwhile, in Nairobi, Kenya, Komal walked through a bustling market, the air filled with the sounds of haggling and the rich aromas of street food. He watched the youth around him, many of them selling goods or performing odd jobs. Komal saw their energy and resilience, but also the lack of direction. He knew these young people had more to offer, if only they had the right opportunities. Komal envisioned a network of training hubs, places where young people could learn practical skills, from carpentry and plumbing to coding and design. He imagined these hubs as beacons of hope, empowering the youth to take control of their futures. Fatou's inspiration. In Dakar, Senegal, Fatou stood in front of a colorful mural, her latest creation. She was more than an artist, she was a storyteller, using her art to inspire and educate. Her students, a group of young, aspiring artists, looked up to her. Fatou believed in the power of art to communicate, to evoke emotions, and to bring about change. However, Fatou wanted to do more. She dreamed of reaching a wider audience, using her art to address social issues like unemployment and the lack of skills training. She envisioned workshops and community projects where art could be a tool for empowerment and expression. As the sun set on four different corners of the world, Chidiba, Aline, Komal, and Fatou, each with a unique vision, were unknowingly about to embark on a journey that would bring their dreams together, creating a ripple effect that would change the lives of many across the African continent. Chidiba's Initiative Back in Lagos, Chidiba's idea was taking shape. He had named his platform SkillSync, a place where skills and opportunities would align. 
He spent countless nights coding, designing an intuitive interface that could match job seekers with employers based on skills, experience, and interests. He envisioned a feature where mentors could guide young professionals, fostering a community of growth and learning. One evening, as he tested the prototype, Chidibe realized the potential impact of his work. He imagined a young graduate in Abuja landing her first job through Skillsync or a skilled craftsman in rural Nigeria showcasing his work to a global audience. The thought filled him with a sense of purpose. Aline's Educational Revolution In Brazil, Aline was revolutionizing her teaching approach. She started integrating digital tools into her lessons, using apps and online resources to make learning more engaging. Her students responded with enthusiasm, their eyes lighting up at the interactive lessons. Aline knew she had to take this beyond her classroom. She started developing an online curriculum that focused on practical skills, from digital literacy to entrepreneurship. Her goal was to make this accessible to young Africans everywhere, providing them with the tools to succeed in a modern economy. Komau's Groundwork Komau began laying the groundwork for his network of training hubs. He started in Nairobi, securing a small space where local experts could teach practical skills. From carpentry and welding to digital marketing and graphic design, these hubs would offer a variety of courses. He faced challenges, funding was tight, and convincing experts to teach was not easy. But Komau's passion was infectious, and slowly, the community started to come on board. The first hub was modest, but it was a start, a seed that Komau hoped would grow across Kenya and beyond. Fatou's Creative Outreach Fatou, in Senegal, launched a series of art workshops inviting young people from her community to express themselves through painting, sculpture, and other mediums. She saw how art could be a powerful tool for communication and self-discovery. But Fatou wanted to integrate these workshops with practical skills training. She began collaborating with local artisans, combining traditional crafts with contemporary art. Her vision was to create a program where creativity met practicality, empowering young people to explore new ways of earning a living through their art. As each of these passionate individuals worked tirelessly on their respective projects, a shared vision began to emerge. It was a vision of a connected Africa, where the youth could access the education and opportunities they needed to thrive. Little did they know, their paths were about to cross, leading to a collaboration that would amplify their impact far beyond what any of them could achieve alone. Chidibe's Hurdles Chidibe's journey with Skillsync hit its first major obstacle. The app, though functional, struggled to gain traction. User engagement was low, and the feedback highlighted a critical gap, the lack of localized content and mentorship. Chidibe realized that technology alone wasn't enough, he needed a more holistic approach to truly make an impact. In a moment of reflection, Chidibe understood that to succeed, he needed to collaborate with others who shared his vision but brought different skills to the table. He began reaching out to professionals and educators across Africa, hoping to find like-minded individuals. Aline's Resource Struggle Aline faced her own set of challenges. Her online curriculum was ready, but she lacked the platform to reach a wider audience. She needed a partner, a digital platform that could host her content and make it accessible to young Africans everywhere. Despite the setback, Aline remained undeterred. She believed in the power of her work and knew that somewhere out there was a solution waiting to be found. Her determination led her to explore various tech forums and networks, searching for potential collaborations. Komau's Expansion Issues Komau's training hub in Nairobi was a success, attracting many young people eager to learn new skills. However, expanding the network proved to be a daunting task. Funding was limited, and each new location brought its own set of logistical challenges. Komau realized that for the hubs to be sustainable, they needed a stronger foundation, a network that could provide not just training, but also job placement assistance. He started looking for partners who could help him scale his vision, making the hubs a stepping stone to employment. Fatou's Artistic Limitations In Senegal, Fatou's workshops were flourishing, but she felt they were still not reaching their full potential. She wanted to integrate more vocational training into her programs, but lacked the expertise and resources to do so. 
For two began exploring partnerships with local vocational schools and businesses, hoping to create a more comprehensive program. She knew that combining art with practical skills could open up new pathways for her students, but she needed support to make it happen. As each of these four visionaries grappled with their individual challenges, their paths were slowly converging. Unbeknownst to them, their separate struggles were about to intertwine, leading to a collaboration that would amplify their efforts and create a synergy that could transform the landscape of education and employment in Africa. A Serendipitous Encounter Chidi Bear, in a bid to expand his network, attended a tech conference in Nairobi. During a coffee break, he overheard a lively debate about the future of education in Africa. Intrigued, he approached the group and found himself face to face with Aline. Their conversation quickly revealed their shared passions and complementary projects. It was a serendipitous moment, filled with excitement and a sense of destiny. In a humorous twist, as they excitedly discussed their ideas, Chidiba accidentally spilled his coffee on a bystander. The bystander turned out to be Komau, who, after a moment of surprise, joined in the conversation, intrigued by their ideas. The mishap turned into a moment of laughter and broke the ice leading to a deeper discussion about their respective projects. The artistic connection meanwhile, Fatou was in Nairobi for an art exhibition. She decided to visit Komau's training hub, having heard about it from a friend. Upon arrival, she was immediately drawn to the vibrant energy and creativity of the place. As she toured the hub, she stumbled upon Chidibia, Aline and Komau in the midst of their animated discussion. Fatou's arrival was like the missing piece of a puzzle. Her artistic perspective added a new dimension to the conversation. The group quickly realized that they were all working towards a common goal from different angles. They laughed about the serendipity of their meeting, joking that the universe must have conspired to bring them together. The formation of a dream team. The newfound team decided to combine their efforts. Chidiba's platform would host Aileen's educational content, Komau's hubs would serve as practical training centers, and Fatou's art would be integrated into the curriculum to foster creativity and innovation. As they began working together, they faced a series of comedic mishaps. From language barriers leading to humorous misunderstandings to a virtual meeting where everyone's internet connection failed simultaneously, leaving them all frozen in comical poses. These moments of levity brought the team closer, turning potential frustrations into shared jokes. The first major breakthrough Their first major breakthrough came when they organized a combined event, a showcase of Fortu's art, a demonstration of Komau's training programs, and a launch of the integrated SkillSync platform. The event was a hit, attracting attention from local media and potential investors. During the event, a mock competition was held where participants had to use the SkillSync app to find the most obscure skill listed. The winner found a listing for underwater basket weaving, which became an inside joke for the team, symbolizing the diverse and unexpected opportunities their collaboration could offer. Nia's story The chapter opens with the story of Nia, a beautiful and tall young woman from a small village in Kenya. Nia had always dreamed of becoming an engineer, but her dreams seemed out of reach due to her family's financial struggles. However, her determination led her to Komau's training hub, where she learned about SkillSync. Nia's journey was fraught with challenges. She faced skepticism from her community, who believed engineering was not a suitable career for a woman. But Nia persevered, using the resources provided by the team's initiative. Her story was one of resilience and courage, serving as an inspiration to many. The Art of Healing In a touching scene, Fatou organized an art therapy session for youths affected by unemployment and social issues. The session was filled with raw emotions as participants used art to express their frustrations, hopes and dreams. Fatou's gentle guidance helped them channel their feelings into beautiful, expressive art pieces. This scene highlighted the therapeutic power of art and its role in healing and personal growth. It also showcased Fatou's deep empathy and understanding of the struggles faced by the youth. A setback and a rally. Just as things seemed to be going well, the team faced a significant setback. A major investor pulled out, citing economic uncertainties. The news hit the team hard, 
casting a shadow of doubt over their project's future. In a powerful display of solidarity, the local community rallied around the team. Small businesses, students, and even local artists came together to support the initiative. This outpouring of support was a poignant reminder of the project's impact and the hope it represented for many. Komau's Reflection One evening, as Komau closed the hub, he reflected on the journey so far. He thought about the young people he had met, each with their own story of struggle and hope. It was a moment of introspection, realizing the profound impact of their work beyond just skills training. Komau's reflection was interrupted by a surprise visit from an old friend, who offered not only moral support but also a potential solution to their funding problem. This unexpected turn of events rekindled the team's hope and reinforced the idea that every challenge also brings new opportunities. Chidibe's Homecoming Chidibe returned to his hometown in Nigeria for a family celebration. The vibrant colors, lively music, and warm embraces of his relatives reminded him of his roots. During a traditional feast, he shared his experiences with Skillsync. His uncles and aunts, initially skeptical, were soon engrossed, offering advice based on African proverbs and wisdom. They emphasized the importance of community and Ubuntu, I am because we are, the philosophy that Chediba decided to integrate more deeply into Skillsync's ethos. Aline's Cultural Fusion Aline, in Brazil, organized a cultural exchange program through her online platform, connecting her students in Brazil with students in Africa. They shared stories, music, and art, celebrating their shared heritage. Aline introduced them to the African concept of Sankofa, going back to fetch what was forgotten, encouraging them to embrace their history and identity. This exchange enriched the curriculum, making it deeply rooted in African culture and diasporic connections. Komau's Market Day Komau organized that market day at his training hub, inspired by the bustling markets of Nairobi. It was a day of joyous celebration, where students showcased their skills and crafts. The air was filled with the aroma of traditional Kenyan dishes and the sounds of African drumbeats and folk songs. Elders from the community were invited to share stories and wisdom, creating a bridge between generations and reinforcing the value of traditional knowledge and skills. Fatou's Artistic Tribute Fatou embarked on a project to paint a mural in Dakar, depicting the journey of African innovation. She involved local artists and youths, each adding their unique touch to the mural. The artwork was a tapestry of African history and future aspirations, featuring symbols like the Adinkra symbols of Ghana, representing concepts such as perseverance, denkium, and adaptability, Araya. The mural became a landmark in Dakar, a visual representation of the continent's rich heritage and bright future. The team's reunion. The team reunited in Nairobi, bringing with them the experiences and insights from their individual journeys. They shared stories, laughed over local jokes, and debated using playful African proverbs. This reunion was not just a meeting of minds, but a celebration of their diverse African cultures and identities. They discussed how each of their projects had evolved, now deeply infused with the essence of African culture and values. They agreed that the initiative's success lay in its authenticity and its ability to resonate with the African spirit. A New Horizon Under the golden glow of the setting sun, the team gathered on a hill overlooking Nairobi, a city that had become a symbol of their journey and collaboration. They reflected on their experiences, the challenges they had overcome, and the lessons they had learned. Chidiba's Reflection Chidiba spoke first, his voice steady and thoughtful. I've learned that innovation is not just about technology, it's about people. It's about understanding our roots and building something that speaks to our community. My advice to future generations is to never forget where you come from. Your heritage is your strength, and it can guide your path in the most unexpected ways. Komau's wisdom. Komau, with a warm smile, added, I've learned the importance of resilience. In our journey, there were many times when things didn't go as planned. But we didn't give up. To the youth of Africa, I say, be resilient. Embrace your challenges as opportunities to learn and become stronger. Aline's insight. Aline nodded in agreement, her eyes reflecting the passion she felt. For me, 
the biggest lesson has been about connection. We are stronger together than we are apart. To those who follow in our footsteps, I say, embrace collaboration. Share your knowledge, learn from others, and remember that every encounter is an opportunity to grow. Fatou's artistic perspective. Fatou, her eyes shining with emotion, shared her thoughts. Art has taught me the power of expression and the importance of giving voice to our stories. My advice is to use your unique voice to make an impact. Whether through art, music, writing, or any form of expression, tell your story. It's your most powerful tool. The final promise. As the night set in, the team made a promise to continue their work, to keep pushing boundaries and inspiring others. They vowed to pass on their knowledge and to keep the spirit of innovation alive in the hearts of young Africans. The story closes with the team looking out over the city, their faces illuminated by the city lights below. They stood united, not just as a team, but as a symbol of hope and progress for Africa. Chidiba's voice echoed in the night, together, we have started something incredible. Let's keep this flame burning and light the way for others to follow. The others nodded in agreement, their hearts full of hope and determination. They knew their journey was far from over, but they were ready for whatever lay ahead, armed with the lessons of the past and the promise of a brighter future. The story of the innovator's odyssey ends, but the legacy of Chidiba, Aline, Komal, and Fatou continues, inspiring a new generation of African innovators and dreamers. Their journey was a testament to the power of unity, resilience, and the indomitable African spirit.